Prince Hamlet is an adaptation of Shakespeare's famous play, except this tale of revenge is narrated entirely in American Sign Language by the character Horatio. Um, now, there are actors who do have speaking roles, but no one is interpreting the sign language for the audience. Don Janney Burley is the actor who plays Horatio in Prince Hamlet. She herself is deaf. Uh, she uses five different types of uh, sign language. Uh, Don is in the Q studio right now. Don, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. I'm really excited. And I should say that Don is uh, joined by her ASL interpreter, Kate Lewis. So Hamlet, one of Shakespeare's most famous plays. Uh, how familiar were, were, were you with Hamlet before you got into the project? I was familiar. The first exposure to Shakespeare that I had was in high school, in English class, grade 9 to 12, took English class. My English teacher was a fanatic for Shakespeare, and so I was stuck with her for the full duration of my high school career, and that was my introduction to Hamlet and other Shakespeare plays as well. So I was familiar with the play before going into this. Were you a fan? Yes and no. I was young, so at the age of, you know, 14, 15, 16, Shakespeare wasn't really my thing. But as I got into acting as a profession, uh, I was able to do a number of Shakespeare roles, and it took time for me to learn to appreciate the language, for sure. At the same time, uh, right now, the work that I'm doing with Prince Hamlet, I have to say I am very grateful to my high school English teacher <laughs> for having well prepared me for this role. Yeah, high school English teachers are like piano lessons. You don't wish you had them until way too later in life. Exactly, for sure. Um, how common are plays like Prince Hamlet, where, you know, where, with an actor signing to a hearing audience with no interpreter? I can't really confirm this or say this with any certainty, but I am fairly sure that this has never existed before in Canada, that um, what we are offered as deaf audience members and deaf patrons is not this kind of theatrical experience. There aren't a lot of deaf performers in Canada, and so the idea of representation in Canada is very, very weak uh, relative to other areas such as the United States, which does a better job in representing our community uh, in the media. We consider ourselves a linguistic minority, and here in Canada, our voice is very weak. In the United States, there are many more programs that offer a diverse representation of deaf people acting alongside hearing casts. I believe that this is a once in a lifetime uh, event here in Canada. Most of my professional work has taken place in Europe. In, there's more open-mindedness in Europe. There is more willingness to take a risk, to take a chance, to try something a little bit outside of the box and a little bit new. And so that's where my experience is. So I'm really delighted to see that this has really taken off here in Canada. It's a radical idea what we're doing in Prince Hamlet. It's what we call intersectional theatre, and I'm really, really proud of what we've put together. And in, in this intersectional theatre, an incredibly important role. I mean, you're, you're Horatio. You're the narrator. I mean, what does it mean to you just personally to be taking on such a, such a crucial role in this play? Well, at first I didn't really know what I was getting into. <laughs> I had to say, sure, cast me as Horatio, I'm in. First day of production uh, came, we came together in rehearsal, and Ravi Jain, our, our director, and I were working together to try and imagine what this story might be like, how we were going to tell this story in this way. As Horatio, I am the storyteller of this production, and I realized as we were going through just the enormity of that responsibility. And as a deaf person, I feel that we don't have a lot of voice and many people aren't interested in our stories. And so now I have the opportunity uh, that Hamlet in the play has asked me, Horatio, to tell the world this story to tell at the end of the whole play, Hamlet reaches out to Horatio and says, tell the world my story. And to me, that's a, a gift of empowerment that I am entrusted. Horatio is entrusted by Hamlet to tell that story. And as a deaf character, Horatio is deaf and is a deaf performer, it gives a new perspective on storytelling. And I think that many people uh, perhaps hear it and now we're challenging them to also see these stories and that there are so many ways to communicate and so many ways to tell a story and this is ours.